This video will show you how to set up your tool offsets in Mach 4. The first tool we will set up will be our master tool, otherwise known as Tool 1. First I will jog continuously toward the Z-axis preset gauge. Once I am close, I will change the speed of the jog rate so I can avoid overshooting my target. I can change from continuous to incremental. I will change from 10 thousandths to 1 thousandth per click until I reach zero. Now that I have reached zero on the gauge, since we are already in work coordinates, all I would need to do is zero out our Z-axis DRO and move on to the next tool. I will continue the same process for tool two. Next, we will go into our Tool Offsets tab and click on Set Tool. Then we can click on Toggle Height Offset and look at our Z-axis DRO to confirm that the offset has been established. You can also look in your tool table to see it as well. Now let's move on to Tool 3. Tool 3 is set to zero on our gauge. Let's set the offset. Then we can click on Toggle Height Offset to check. Now I'm going to put tool 1 back in and run a test to see how accurate we are setting up our tool height offsets. I'm going to enter command in the MDI window. G43 will engage our tool offsets. The H will be our height with the tool number associated with it. Then I will enter the G code command to bring Z to zero. I will also set the feed rate override to zero before I start. Then move the slider when I would like the machine to move. When starting a new project, you can use tool one to establish zero with your height offsets established. When starting a new project, you can use tool one to establish zero. With your height offsets established, the other tools will become quantified with the master tool, otherwise known as tool 1. This way you don't have to do this for every tool, every time.
We hope you enjoyed this demonstration on setting up your tool offsets in Mach 4.